Yo, welcome to the long and short. It's your boy Maestro. Thanks for tuning in. Every day we try to show you guys some tricks and trades to this trading game that we play today in the crypto market. I may make that an intro. Anyway, if you like this type of content and are interested in learning how to trade the crypto markets, whether it's scalp trading, swing trading, long term hobbling, whatever it may be, this is the channel for you. Go ahead, like and subscribe. Please join us along on this journey. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So what's happening with the charts? Man, everything seems to be moving in a sideways downwards type of way. Um, Bitcoin has actually rebounded and more towards the end of the day in the New York session. So that's a good thing to see. I'm expecting Asia to completely come in and continue to push us down even more. Um, we have been seeing a lot of aggressive downwards movement. So what I'm going to try to do today is give you guys where we think the bottom may be. Since no one knows where the bottom is, we're going to give you our best thought on where it may be and where it could go if it were to break that bottom. And then eventually that would be the new bottom. But we're going to call it out today. All right. So let's go ahead and dive right into some information here again everything looking sideways for the most part you are starting to see some rebounding in the market though more towards the end of the new york session so that's a good thing what i want to do is take a look at the bitcoin chart coming right into the daily all right now as we said price falling back into this range is not too concerning for us we've been talking about this range for the past week and a half almost two weeks now since we've had this channel, we've said that this range is going to be a place where the price may want to revisit. And as we can see, it's just been sitting here. It's just been hanging out. It's been chilling, not doing very much. OK, now what this does to market participants is bores them to death. Right. If you see the price keep going down, you're seeing these hard down days, price is moving sideways. You're going to start to talk about other things. People lose interest. OK, but this is the opportune time for them to actually launch the price once the sentiment dies down. OK, now, where are these levels that we're calling out? We've said 39.5 is a level that is important for a number of different reasons. Before this price dropped, okay, we called this out. Go back to the previous video sometime last week. We were calling out 39.5, okay? So when price touched off of 39.5 and then bounced up, we saw that that is set not only one low here, but now this is the second low, okay? Price has a tendency to go for liquidity, and where do you find your most liquidity? at these equal lows equal high points right so with all of this information in mind looking at it from a macro perspective thinking about all of the news and even the stock market down today what do we really think is going to happen here right we think price is actually going to fall below 39.5 but not for long okay i'm gonna show you a couple of things on tensor charts where it seems like 39.5 you know 40,000 is the bottom levels that we are setting the most orders up at right now okay so we're going to take a look at that on tensor charts in a second and we'll dive a little bit deeper into the order book to see where most levels are being lined up not only for bitcoin but also for eth and a couple of other things okay so stay tuned for that now if we can tell that these levels are being respected here okay should we expect price to break back down through these levels potentially okay now you may see a level of accumulation here it's happened all january and we were thinking it was going to kind of happen this way right january wasn't going to be a super exciting month everyone was expecting it to be an exciting month so why should it be an exciting month right i hope you guys are starting to understand how the crypto market works whatever you're expecting or whatever everyone else is expecting is probably not going to happen right think about 100k bitcoin think about january is going to be an explosive month right all of the things that we hear the most are the things that typically don't end up happening. OK, guys, so take all of that information in for what it is and place sentiment opposite to what most people are saying. That's the way you typically win in this market and, and really in any trading environment. OK, so January sideways. What do we think is going to happen in February? Well, I think by February, you will have your move established one way or the other. OK, price could come down here, set another low. Right. Make us think that we have real support here and then boom, really crash through this level. And when it does that, what we want to look for is whether or not the price is being overextended. I mean, like really, really gunning down hard to the point where it scares you to the point where you're saying to yourself, oh, my God, the price is going to 20 K. Right. And it probably is going to happen in maybe a day to a day and a half of price action. When we see that, that's where I think our bottom is going to be. OK, so. Be on the lookout for that. Don't just think price is going to launch from here. It's stuck in this zone for now in this range again that we said we've been stuck in really since December, guys, if we really think about it. OK, if we zoom out a bit, we can see 
from that major drop in December, okay, on the 4th, everything's been right within these ranges here, right, stuck between this liquidity, all right, so you need to break out of here before Bitcoin goes anywhere. All right, let's take a look at the futures because this is also going to give us some information again on the daily contracts for about nine month outlook. Open interest is high. OK, also for, you know, the retail traders versus the large speculators, we are squeezing closer to the zero line. So that sentiment is dying down a bit. Right. We're not as bullish. Right. We're starting to see the price really stagnate and, and keep getting pushed down hard. Like today was a down hard day it's starting to come back more towards the end of the day to save itself. But it was a pretty rough day today, right? Um, also, you do have larger speculators cl pulling closer to the zero line. So that means that prices may start to go a bit long once they trade positions with these commercials. Okay, Once the commercials start to push lower off the zero line, and large speculators push higher, you're going to have that separation. That's when the price is really going to kick into gear. Okay, Everything else is kind of moving sideways in the meantime. Also, bears still have pretty firm control of the market, right? regardless as to whatever movement you see up. They continue to push it down. This is tradable if you understand how to work those retracements, right? So if price is in a down movement, a move up is a retracement. You want to catch that move up to catch the ride, the longer ride, the harder ride down, right? And it's opposite in a bull market, right? Um, the money flow, again, still lower than anticipated. And this is still pushing downwards, guys. The money's coming out of the market, not in. Momentum essentially still swinging sideways. Not a lot of action. PVT, OBV, negative. Everything looks bearish. Accumulation distribution starting to point a little bit lower, right? But it's sort of just swinging in this range, right? Everything's just sitting still, guys. And this is what's happening in the market right now, okay? So what can we expect moving forward? Well, within these prices, right, you can only see so much on these charts. So I want to dive a bit deeper into what we like to call tensor charts. Tensor charts are going to show us where the actual real levels are in regards to price. OK, so let's come to our first one here for Bitcoin. The big price movement that we see up right now to close out New York. OK, this is how we would have sort of been able to jump in front of this move if we were watching this right but we were setting up for the video so we sort of missed this little run here but i'm not fully convinced that this run really means very much this is something that you know you have to put into perspective okay so what we're looking at here is a five minute chart these big green candles on a five minute don't mean very much if you're looking at an hourly chart right because we're only up what maybe about a percentage point or a little bit less than a percentage point on the full day if we take a look at the full day you can see what type of day it's been Right. So a lot of downwards action today. Price sort of stabilized and now it's starting to push higher towards the end of New York. What I look for as price starts to push is where the momentum's coming from. OK, if I look for momentum here on this chart, the majority of the momentum is still on the bearish side. If I'm looking at this hard push up, but I can look here and see that right at 42.6, there's about one hundred and three Bitcoin just sitting there waiting to be sold. Right below that, there's 70. And right below that, there's about 50. There it goes. Right. And I see that the bullish push. Right. The accumulation here is not anywhere near here. The first three to three. You're going to see a reversal. Price is going to stall. This is where you're going to start to get your wicks. This is how we're able to really tell what's happening on a micro, micro, micro level when it comes to Bitcoin. I can even zoom in to, you know, closer than hundred dollar increments and go to ten dollar increments for Bitcoin. Really tell where the real levels are. Right. Where you may see that difference in price. Also, what we track here is where the whales are coming in, where the bulls are coming in, bears coming in, you know, whales versus retail traders. We're able to track all of this in this far right pane over here. OK, and then you have your classic order book. There's a few other indicators here that we can use. But really, all we're doing is we're watching price action in relation to the order book. Once price action reaches a level where we think it may turn, we go to the order book. When we look at the order book, we see where the levels of power are established. OK, have the bears been pushing the bulls all the way back all day? What makes us think that once the bulls get a little bit of power, that the bears are just going to completely back off? No, you see, they're showing up right at 42.6. OK, and that's maybe a couple of hundred dollars higher than this price. point. So this is how the market is played. When you x-ray it a little bit and you can see deeper levels of where things are being accumulated so that you can make proper decisions in how you're going to play price. OK, you can also zoom out on tensor charts to get a better idea of where things are on a more macro perspective. So remember the levels that we were talking about before, 40,000, 39.5. If you look at this chart here, you can zoom in and see 40,000 to 39,000. This is where the bulk of your orders are accumulated. 
on the upside for Bitcoin, right? So most of our long orders, right, or limit orders long, we're assuming, are put here, right, at 40 to 39,000, right? And that's right within that range where we said 39.5, right? Like dead smack in the middle. So it makes sense to us here, right? If you look higher, there's not really a ton of orders that can really match what the bulls are putting up here right here okay so you're gonna find a, a, a real support level somewhere between 42 to 39 i would say the exact line is maybe 39.5 but yet to remain to be seen right once you break below that what do you have 38 of course right which is another really 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 heavy level of orders and then below that you have 36 okay then 33 then 31 below 31 you are in a complete bear market, all right? Just want to make that clear. You can swing really anywhere between 40 to maybe 32. Once you get to 32, if it breaks down to 32, down to 30, and it goes below that, you're completely in a bear market, guys, right? So be aware. Once you start to creep to these lower levels and things aren't changing very quickly, we could be in some trouble, all right? 40,000 is the level, guys. Below that, 39.5. Below that, 39 after that it's gonna get tough it's gonna get tough but let's go back to our normal charts here to talk about some altcoins now again when it comes to altcoins we like to always mention this is nowhere near financial advice this is the way that we view the market if you think that this is interesting or this is probably something that could work for you by all means go ahead and use it long-term hodl is the name of the game Essentially, what we do in this case is figure out areas of discount price versus premium price, and we trade according to that. Just like any other retail logic should be concerned, you want to buy things at a discount, and if you're able to sell them at a premium, that's the name of the game, right? So this is the way that we like to think about the market in areas of discount, areas of premium. We buy in discount, we sell in premium. So this is how we outlay our charts, and this is all we're gonna show folks here, is where price is relative to whatever coin they may be trading. When it comes to all coins, we're buying them, we're holding them. When we buy them, we wanna buy them in areas of discount. When we sell them, we wanna sell them in areas of premium, okay? Always remember, guys, take your profit, take risk off the table. This is the way that you make money in the market. Now. Let's dive into our first altcoin here, which is Doge. Dogecoin, again, trading at a lower discounted price. You see, price is getting rejected now, maybe at around 23, 24 cents, okay? Now, when you start to see these spike highs here, right, and there's equal highs being set, you do want to see price break through this, okay? But you're also seeing them set on the lower side, All right? So where's the real friction coming in at? I would say really anywhere between 15 to 16 cents, you're going to get some support around those levels for those, okay? Any pushes higher, I'm starting to see that you'll probably start to see some resistance, maybe a little bit higher than 22, 23 cents, 24 cents is where you're going to start to get more of your push down in regards to resistance, okay? So Doge sort of stuck in a range, it's been trading in a discounted zone pretty much ever since it came down off those all-time highs. What this tells me is that it may be in this zone for pretty much the foreseeable future, okay? There's nothing really that's going to pump this price out of these zones. Elon Musk tried to do it a couple of times. It hasn't really worked, guys. So, But I'm looking forward to seeing what's happening with those moving forward. All right, Chainlink, again, still in a discounted zone, but more towards the top side of the discounted zone. I think Chainlink is going to push deeper down into this further discounted zone here in order for them to really kill all of our joy in the market they have to push these prices down as far as they can get them so once you start to see most of these coins falling into the lower discount zones okay that's pretty much where you can start to see the majority of the depression happening where you may be able to get your bigger explosions from or from the bottom areas of this discount zone right this is where your greater wins could come from okay so chain link again anything really under 19 cents is a buy for chain link all right, store J also in the discounted zone. Anything under a dollar twenty, a buy for store J. Right now, it's trading currently at a dollar fifty four. I would say it's a good buy still because we are in a discounted zone. We can see if this price is still going to fall lower, and if it does, I think it's a good buy below a dollar twenty. When it comes to Filecoin, again, Filecoin is just searching for the bottom. It seems like here. So right now, it's currently at twenty eight dollars. There are lower levels that it could try to get to okay guys even lower as twenty dollars here so be on the lookout for that um 
This has not found the bottom yet. You can tell by the price action. And in fact, when it does find the bottom, it's probably going to react very strongly to try to push back up to the top side. You can see that in previous price action. And we'll continue to call this out for Filecoin. If you do catch a ride on Filecoin because you bought down here, if it does start to reach these premium zones, I would advise to take your profit immediately, guys. Okay. And that's the one thing that I would advise very, very keenly on Filecoin. You can tell by the price action here. Once it does push through these levels, it comes right back down very hard. Okay. When it comes to engine token, all right, again, also trading in a discounted area, which is a good buy. Metaverse does have a future and I think engine token will be part of it. So I think that this is an excellent buy right now, anywhere really under $2.80. Right now it's at $2.29 pretty good discount for engine token when it comes to algorand algorand also just crossing over into our discounted zone so when something just crosses over into that discounted zone unless it's been really being supported here right and pushing violently out of here we're not necessarily too anxious to buy it i want to see if algorand can continue to push a little bit lower more towards these lines maybe around 80 cents to a dollar that would be a good buy for me when it comes to algorand currently trading at one dollar 31 cents anything really under a dollar 40 is a good buy for algorand moving to the graph let's scroll out a little bit graph of course trading in a deeper discounted zone here and graph is sort of very similar to filecoin right uh, a coin that could be useful if you do find the right and proper utilities for it but it does kind of fall in that same zone right so you're seeing a major discount going on here i think a lot of this money is kind of moved more towards metaverse nft that type of thing right so this is the bleed out that you're seeing in these type of tokens here again trading at a discount May be a good opportunity because once that utility really starts to get utilized on the blockchain and the graph really seems to be the only guys who are doing the indexing right um let me know if there's other tokens that you've heard about but i know graph is doing it i don't really know of anyone else that's doing it just imagine if you bought google at 53 cents right same sort of comparison whether or not they'll do it remains to be seen but we'll see right now i think the graph is at a good price though trading currently in a deeper discounted zone at 53 cents Anything really under 90 cents is a good buy for the graph. Curved out token looks like price has started to come down further off of this all-time high. And as we said, once these all-time highs get broken, guys, price is going to go back down to test lower levels, right? This is where the majority of the selling, the higher level selling is taking place. And you can expect price to fall a little bit deeper. If it does come down to about, a, you know, $3.70, I would say curved out is a good token as well to actually get into but of course we know that deeper into these discount zones is really where we want to buy when we see price get depressed all right cardano pushed up very strong out of the first discount zone but now it's starting to revisit i think cardano starting to bounce back more towards the end of the day did have a heavy down day though at seven percent right so sort of engulfed all of this bullish price action but guys you should be expecting this whenever you see price sort of rally like this this hard and you see a percentage gain this fast this hard you want to see you want to see that pullback right people call it healthy but it's really just the sellers coming in they're starting to step in front of the buyers okay to push the price back down now i'm surprised they pushed it back down this fast okay but this really means that there's a lot of Cardano in the market that people are willing to sell right at these levels of $1.50, okay? Now, how high price can push out of here and how fast getting rejected at these levels worries me a bit, okay? So let's watch Cardano over the next few days to see if it continues to rise. If it does, then it does have strength. I want to see it break market structure sort of midway through this discounted zone at $1.75. If it can do that, Cardano has a future more towards $2, 250 etc. And again, right now, still a good buy either way for Cardano. All right. These are all coins that we are in. Let's take a look at some coins that we are watching. So for Polkadot, Polkadot is still in a discounted zone, but it's not in the discounted zone that we would consider buying in just yet. I do want to see this fall a little bit more. If it's anywhere under $20, it's a good buy for us when it comes to Polkadot you probably will see some pretty good gains there. This does have pretty steady upwards movement, which does show more of a stabilized type of market that's involved with Polkadot. This is what we're looking for, okay? So if we drop down any further into this discounted zone, as you can see, it's trading really neatly within this zone. This is the type of price action that you're looking for. Visit the zone really quickly, come right back down, trade very neatly within the discount perfect type of price action that we're looking for so dot is one that's definitely a buy right now at 25 but if we can get it at 21 anything under 20 i would say it's even better buy 
Moving on to Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu has been getting depressed, right? And this is the type of price action that we don't like to see. Pump, dump, right? Pump, dump. We don't like to see this, guys. And this strategy matters even more when you're trying to get involved with things like Shiba Inu, okay? I wouldn't get into Shiba Inu again until it gets down to this, you know, 151 level. And the reason why I'm saying this, guys, is because of the price action. It doesn't go up and stay up. It doesn't retrace and pop back up. It goes up, boom, and crashes right back down. So if I'm going to take a risk on something like this, I'm going to take it at the lowest possible levels I can get it. And I'm not going to FOMO in. I'm not going to FUD in. I'm going to try to make this decision in the best way that I know how. And right now, I think Shiba Inu is still too high to buy. Okay, if I'm going to buy Shiba Inu, it's going to be the bottom of the twos going into the ones, guys. And I think that's a safer, much safer bet for Shiba because this can actually still continue to go down. So be careful. Matic. Matic is trading in a more premium zone. So if you're taking profits on Matic, I think that's a pretty good play. Um, we always say if you are going to take profits on anything, you know, don't take the full amount. Just take a portion of it, maybe 80%. If it's broken the all-time high, you've made some good money. This is dry powder now in your pocket for you to get into discounted coins and things that may be trading at a, a level that you are seeing that you want to get into, right? So this is how we transfer some of that dry powder into more discounted coins whenever we reach our premium zones, okay? Ultimately, I think that Matic still does have room to run, right? There's some things that they're doing that will continue to push this price up. They are a name that people mention, influencers mention, and that has an audience, okay? They have a community. I think that this will continue to grow, okay? So watch for this, but you are going to see some retracements once you see price break these all-time highs, right? If you look at it just from a perspective of a price chart, anytime you break an all-time high from the previous high here, just forget this area for a second, right? We break this high, we're going to come down, right? We break this high, okay? Here, break this high, we're going to come down, okay? This high, broken, we're going to come down. This high, broken, we're going to come down. That's the pattern in price, guys, and especially in healthy markets like this. So I think that this is a very nice upswing, very bullish activity here. Expect these retracements down. Once you see the retracements starting to stall and price go back up, it's okay to buy back in if you see this price action like this. Okay? Very good. Let's talk about XRP. So XRP currently trading at 75 cents. Again, anything under a dollar ten, dollar nine, dollar five is a good buy for XRP, I would say. Um, and again, we're sitting sort of right in the middle of this discounted zone. Once price does hit these lower levels, I don't think it's going to stay here for very long. I mean, ask yourself this question: If XRP drops to 65 cents, you know, would you want some more? I probably would get some more myself. All right, so that's the story for XRP. Price is being suppressed. Things are being squeezed when it comes to price action for XRP at this point. Um, and I think a lot of this is in anticipation of what's going to happen with their case with the SEC. All right, we'll do a couple of more and then we'll get out of here. Let's talk about MANA for a second. Very strong token again. I think once you start to trade into these discount zones for tokens that have a name and people know about, right, these are the ultimate buying opportunities, right? If the coin doesn't have very much of a you know, a, a community or there's not talked about very much, right? You want to get into them more in the lower levels. But when a coin has an audience, right? When there's things being built in its metaverse and when there's a lot of different things going on, anytime you reach a discounted zone, guys, it's a good buy, right? So mana right now to me is a good buy. I am interested to see if it's going to go a little bit lower, right? As long as the other markets are being dragged, this will also drag along with it. So I think we do have a bit more room to the downside to go. And I will be interested in getting back into a bit more mana um, once that does happen. Finally, let's look at Harmony One. This is one that's moving very similar to um, what we looked at before with Matic, right? Broken an all-time high, right? This time it didn't break it though, right? So we're starting to creep down a little bit. I think that Harmony One, once you do get those bridges, it's going to break this all-time high right here at 39 cents, okay? So... That's what we're anticipating for price. Again, this price action does go back really only till June, but we do have a bit more of a you know, stable upswing to this. So we can sort of judge this within a range, in my opinion. OK, so Harmony One, definitely something to look out for right now. It is currently trading at 32 cents in a premium. But this is one that I think still has a lot more room to run to the upside. Right. These zones themselves, guys, I just want to make one point about this, right? And then we'll move on and close out the video with a couple of other things in regards to where you can find some uh, altcoin opportunities. But when it comes to these zones, 
you have to also consider where the coin is, how long it's been out, the community behind it, the things that are going on with it, and whether or not it does have more of an ability to push through an all-time high after it breaks it, okay? Because that's really going to help you judge whether or not this down move after is just a retracement or if it's a really longer term down move like what you've seen with some of these other coins like maybe Filecoin or Shiba Inu, right? You have to put a few things into perspective before you are really able to get the full power out of using this type of system to judge where discounted prices are versus premium, okay? So hope that helped. Let's take a look at a couple of other things right before we close out the video and then we'll get up out of here. For those who do not know, right, if you've been involved in crypto for a while, you know about this website. But ICO Drops is a website where you can go to take a look and see where are the newest projects in crypto, right? Like the things that are being funded right now, right? Going through their staking rounds, things of that nature, right? So essentially every cryptocurrency that comes to market nowadays goes through something which is called an ICO, okay? Initial coin offering. Think of it like an IPO in stocks, but a lot less regulated. All right. Now, what this website does is it helps you find ICOs that are currently active, meaning there's still some time left to vest in these things. Right. But these are probably the most dangerous, the most risky investment opportunities possible in the crypto market right here. This little left area over here. OK. Now, of course, you can dive deeper and deeper and deeper down a rabbit hole with any one of these projects that you like. But this is the risky area, active ICO, okay? Then you have the upcoming ICOs, just as risky. And really, to be real with you guys, there's risk all across the board here. Large amount of risk, super large amount of risk, okay? Across the entire board here. But I can bet you, top dollar, that there are some coins that if we just scroll down this page here, you know, and we go deep enough, just today alone, we will find something on here that we will be talking about two, three, four years from now that has exploded in market cap. I'm pretty sure of that, right? So what we like to do is look through the ended ICOs and we're not gonna tell you which coin to pick today. That's not what the goal is. The goal is, is to show you what this is, show you that this is possible and show you that how to sort of get a little bit of research done when it comes to finding ICOs, okay? So Monster Galaxy is something that you may have seen on CoinMarketCap pop up in a few different places, right? So they just finished their funding, right? They just made 2.4 million on the funding, okay? And if we're really interested in something like this, we can start to take a look, a look at what it is, okay? Monster Galaxy P2E blockchain game version of a legendary mobile game series wherein players own monster pets in the form of NFTs, Earn a trade GGM in-game token for in-game items. Nothing different than anything else that people are building right now, uh, with the exception of maybe the characters. All right. Same old thing. Okay. So this is hitting the market 2.4 mil already in the game. All right. Now you can get an idea of what the total token supply is, the funding goal. Okay. ICO token price, etc. And then this is what I like to actually look at. And this is how you can tell whether or not a project is actually good to get in or not and it doesn't matter which project it is there's a general rule that i use for this okay now i don't go and look at the tokenomics and all of this other stuff just yet until i'm able to verify one thing okay the roadmap now the roadmap is going to tell me whether or not the team is committed to actually getting things done so what date is it mid-january right so they should be somewhere here january 22 what are the two things that they're looking to do IDEO launch of Trustpad and Engine Starter. And by late January, they want the second blind box sale and launch of Genesis MOGA Fair Mint site. Okay. So what I would do is see if these two things are actually live at this point. All right. And if they're not, then I would want to know why. Where would I go? To their community, their Twitter, their website, blog, somewhere where they're talking about this stuff. Right. This actual coin. If I can't find the information there, then Hey, guess what? These people have social profiles that you can find, right? Also here, okay? So Twitter, Telegram, okay? What is this here? I'm, I'm not sure exactly what this is. Um, and then Facebook. So you can probably find who the creators and the people who are behind this is. Once you find those folks, ask them the question. Are you guys on track to meet all of your goals in regards to your roadblock? What are your milestones? What are the additional milestones that didn't get put on the roadblock when you first started? Are you meeting those, right? If you have the ability to do this and get this info or get this information easily, right? It makes it a lot easier for me to say, okay, this is something that is possibly on a good road. 
okay then i would take a look at things like tokenomics investing schedules and all of these other things that you will have to learn about more and more and more okay as you get deeper into this market but before you dive into anything super new in crypto you should know all of the details about it before you make any decisions on any of this stuff guys try to talk to the people that are behind it they'll talk to you if you have questions about their projects they will answer them for you another good thing about ico drops is if you say are into something that you want to take a deeper look at right you're not so sure if it's a rug pull or not you you know you got into this thing because of what someone else said come to the site type in the actual coin and see if you can pull up some information on their ico it could tell you a lot of information that you don't know yet right and this is where a lot of you know sites what they'll do is they'll put a lot of stuff out initially when they first launch and then they'll take some of that stuff down the site does a pretty good job of keeping all of the original things that they posted on their sites right so very excellent resource if you are interested in trying to figure out a little bit more about some of these coins that could potentially blow up in the future, right? ICO Drops is the place to go, all right? I think that's going to end the video for today, guys. Thanks so much for joining. Please like, please subscribe, please share this information with other people who you think may be interested in it. We will continue to bring it. It's your boy Maestro. Salute. Catch up with y'all soon. Peace.